What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Laron. This is Broken Traditions. We'll be breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you're into that kind of content, hit subscribe, turn notifications. Uh, also, I'll be creating like a Discord or like a Facebook group. Let me know in the comments which one you like better, Discord or Facebook groups. Might do both. We'll see how it goes, right? So this week, man, on Friday, I am dropping two videos. Usually I drop one video, I'm dropping two videos because I really want to talk about this song by Jason Aldean, Try This in a Small Town. And when I heard this song, I got offended. I got offended because, not the lyrics of the song, I got offended because for whatever reason, people think that the lyrics of the song is synonymous with black people. And they want to use the lyrics of the song to say that this is a pro lynching song. I'm going to read some of the lyrics of the song. Then after that, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it because I can't stand when they do this. I really can't not stand when they do this. I can't stand when they tell somebody what it is that they need to be offended by. All right, let me go to some of the lyrics on this song, right? The song starts stuff like this. Jason Aldean, try that in a small town. Sucker punch somebody on the sidewalk. Carjack an old lady at a red light. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. Yeah, you think it's cool? Well, act like a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face. Stomp out the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough? Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Round here, we take care of our own. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't try that in a small town. How is that pro lynching music? Sucker punch somebody in the sidewalk? Why am I punch? Why am I? Why is my? I guess skin color is synonymous with punching, sucker punching somebody in the sidewalk. I don't get that. Car jacket, an uh, old lady at a red light. So he's saying in this song, if those things happen in a small town, you're going to get dealt with. That's how it should be, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? There was some parts out here of Atlanta that I met some people saying that that's how they ran their blocks. Don't come around here with this nonsense. We take care of our own. I'll give you a story. Give you a story about what happened in New York one time. Living in New York, there was a young Jewish boy that went missing. Young Jewish boy that went missing. And I remember it clear as day because it was on the news every day. And once they found out that young Jewish boy went missing and the man who kidnapped that Jewish boy was a Jewish man, the camcorder went to like one of the head of the Jewish people, whatever. I don't know who the person is. Don't know the title. But I remember they said to that man, what y'all going to do? He said, don't worry about it. We take care from here. Why, why, why is this mindset synonymous with lynching? This mindset should be the way it should be. We take care of our own. We're not, I mean, we have our cops, cops need it, but we take care of our own. It should not be this, this is lynching. And I can't stand every time somebody want to have a, a trigger or a buzzword or a, make a point. They want to use traumatic terms. They want to use traumatic terms to try to get us on board with something. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know who Jason Aldean is. Never heard never heard of Jason Aldean. I'm not into the country music scene. You now I'm saying? Last time I heard a country music song I liked was probably like Hootie and the Blowfish. That, that's how long ago it was. You know what I'm saying? I am not don't know what Hootie's doing or Darius Rucker. And I'm not sure about the Blowfish, but I'm not in the country music scene. But for whatever reason, this song is being targeted. This song was taken down by CMT country music television and i also want to point this out too i find it so ironic that we are supposed to be told to be upset about this song but uh, just a few years ago the whole i ain't gonna say the whole nation but a big part of the nation especially in the hip-hop culture was screaming out 63rd and 63rd is a reference to a block in chicago that king von had beef with and King Von was a more popular rapper than uh, FGB Duck at the time. And when King Von said 63rd, everybody was saying it. I remember one time I'm in a, in a club in Atlanta and they was like 63rd. I'm like, why are y'all saying that? We in Atlanta. Nobody here is from Chicago that I know of. And it's like we in the middle of Atlanta and y'all saying F a block in Chicago. But they could talk about that and what they do on their block and, you know, saying people from old, old block don't go on 63rd and vice versa. They could talk about that. But Jason Aldean talk about try that in a small town, which is nowhere near as degrading as what they talk about as old block and 63rd and whatever rap reference you want to talk about. Because those are, I guess you could say, 
literally uh, racist type music. I'm going to shoot a I'm going to kill a Let that come on my block. Y'all that wear red. Don't come over here with a power of a, a, a Phillies hat in, in LA or some parts of LA. No, that's what they talking about. But he's talking about you suck a punch a uh, sucker punch somebody on the sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store, and you think it's cool, act like a fool if you like. Yeah, right, yeah, try that if you like to. That's what that is. That's what kind of mindset we should type, we should be on. But, it, but for whatever reason, the powers that be want to tell black folks we should be offended by this song. And it, they they took that a video like I mean whatever right they church, I don't watch CMT so it doesn't doesn't make a difference to me but they took down a video everybody right now is hit pieces about it these weird liberal purple haired people telling black people what to think and for some reason some black people are eating this up they're eating this up and feeling like yeah Jason Aldean's a racist because he made a song try to ask small town trying to make this synonymous with a sundown town let me give an example about how small towns get down. I used to travel for work. I still travel for work. I don't travel as much as I did. You know what I'm saying? I used to travel 90% of the time. Now I travel about 25% of the time. But I used to travel for work at one time, got off the plane. I was in some small town and I was doing 90 and a 55 trying to get to my hotel because I got off the plane and was late driving. I see a cop get behind me. And this is when I had my law identity. And I'm going to do a video on the law identity later on. Please make sure you subscribe. So this is when I had my law identity. This is when I saw a cop pull me over in a small town. And I'm like, damn. Dark road. It's only me in this car. This cop here. He probably think I got something going on. I'm a black man. This cop about to do something to me. It's a wrap. Come to find out. Talk to the cop. He said, what you doing? Why are you speeding? I said, I'm trying to get to the hotel. He said, what hotel are you going to? I told him the Hampton. Only one hotel in the whole town. I'm a Marriott guy. I'd rather do a Marriott because I get more points and I got a higher status. But that's another story for another day. But I told him that I'm going to the Hampton. He said, oh, OK. Since it was a small town, he knew exactly what the hotel I was talking about. And he said, when you get there, tell such and such. I said, hi, don't worry about it. I see this is a rental. Go about your day. Boom. Went to the hotel. And after that, my mind shift started. My mind started to shift a different direction because I was like, damn, my identity told me that this cop is going to uh, pull me out the car, kill me, hide my body, take my organs, stuff that do happen. But my identity told me that always happened to black people when they get pulled over, especially in this small town. That cop was cool. When I get pulled over in New York, dog, I'm just waiting for the ticket because I know what's going to happen <laughs> when I lived in New York. And it's funny because even down here in the South, when I get pulled over, knock on wood, these cops are a lot more um, lenient, but I digress on that. But you, yo, small towns, those people do take care of each other. And you there on business like I was on business. He knew I wasn't on that type of time. Everything checked out. All my paperwork checked out. He let me go. Hotel, he knew what hotel it was because it's a small town. It's a one hotel town. Went there, did my work, flew back home. I'm good. That's how it should be. Like I said, I'm offended by the simple fact that they're telling me I should be offended. Don't tell me that, dog. All black people are not monolithic. Don't tell me that. That's one thing about the black toxic culture I want to pull from. Stop telling black people what to think. And black people, please do not fall on what to think. Because if you hear the lyrics of this song and you get offended, nine times out of ten, or ten times out of ten, this song's about you. This song's definitely about you. Punching somebody on the sidewalk. You offended by him saying that? No, that's, that's not the case. But let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments, man. Do you think that Jason Aldean Try That in a Small Town song is pro-lynching? Ah, like I said, that is so offensive. That's offensive. I'm tired of these liberal type purple haired weirdos that have Black Lives Matter on a lawn telling me what to think. I'm tired of that. I'm so tired of that. I'm so tired of that. I'm tired of them telling me what to think. And I'm tired of people falling for the okie doke. Tired of it, dog. I'm definitely tired of it. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying? You tired of toxic black culture? You can join, subscribe. We can have conversations there. And the great thing about being tired of toxic black culture, you don't have to be black to be tired of toxic black culture. Feel me? You don't have to be black. Any any race could be tired of toxic black culture. But I appreciate your time. I right, man. Until next time, peace. Real rap. Ryan is signing off. All right, later. One. Also, if you like this video, please check out this other video and consider subscribing. All right, later.